Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about PRA. What's PRA? Well, it's basically crawl, but um, it's with more uh, beats on the end, like with crawl, cubic right angle weave, you only do with four. I am doing PRA with six right here. You can do it with five, and you know, uh, when you do your crawl with five, six, seven, eight, ten, whatever you want to do, it's called prismatic right angle weave. So that's called pra. Now, I did a little sample here because I wanted to check how that works. And I found out that there's one thing about pra that is different from crawl. You cannot use the same size beads because they will be in each other's ways. I used 8O and 11O here and you can see that there's a little space in between the uh, 11s right here but if I would have used the 8Os then they would have cramped each other right there uh, on top of each other. So you can't do that. Now uh, this may look a little bit boring but the, the, part, the fun part is if you do 6 then uh, or 5 then you get like three top rows you can embellish. As for with crawl you can only embellish one row uh, on the top. Of course you can embellish the sides also but uh, what I'm saying is like with the pra you have more room to embellish. Uh, all the patterns that I taught by the way at the beaten button show are also on Etsy now so I'll leave a link for you underneath it because some of you guys asked for uh, the other uh, bangle bracelet that I was wearing when I was doing the uh, Giffenys bra bracelet and um, so there will be a link underneath the video where you can look in my Etsy shop and see if there's anything you like there. So, but now I want to do prismatic right angle weave with you and I got two beads, I got 8O and I got 11O, so it's very simple. You're just going to take a couple, put them out of my camera. I got, what do I got? Actually I got Matte Opaque Mauve AB 8O and I got Metallic Black 11O. And best way to do this also is with uh, the Wildfire actually. But because I'm not going to, I'm only going to show you a little bit how it works. I'm just going to do it with Fireline because I'm running out of uh, Wildfire. And yes, I did have an amazing time at the Beaten Button show. Um, people in my class were wonderful. I actually had a class full of people that never even saw one of my YouTube videos. So I figured, like, you know, everybody that's going to be there is going to be, like, from YouTube. But no, 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 no. I had uh, one class full of people that didn't know me. So now I know next time that uh, not everybody knows me from YouTube that's going to... Uh, be there. I'm gonna be there again next year by the way, so mark your calendars June 4th to June 11th uh, That will be when the beaten button show uh, starts. So if you want to be there then mark your calendar I'm going to start up with the six Eight O's Okay, I'm gonna pull that down and this basically works the same as um, Your crawl, so we're gonna double knot it But instead of with the same size, we're going to go around now back into the, or we're going to go forward now into the 8O with the needle. And we're going to pick up an 11O, an 8O, and an 11O. And then we're going to go back into the 8O that we came out of. And then we're going to pick up the next 8O. We're going to add to our needle. 1110, 180. Oh. We're gonna pick up the metallic right here on the side and into the 80. Oh. And we're gonna go forward into the next one. Pick up an 110 oh, and an 80. Oh. Into the metallic and the 80. Oh. Pick up the next 8O, pick up the metallic and the 8O into metallic and 8O, you can push it forward. Picking up the next one, you can also do this with 5 as I said, so you don't have to do this with 6, you can do it with 5 or 7 or whatever you like. And then, you know, you get your prismatic right angle weave under control. 
Now, I think this is one of the best kept secrets of the Beating Society because uh, there's not many YouTube videos about this. And uh, I do see things that I think like, how the hell did they do that? And then it turns out that they actually, what I just figured out, used prismatic right angle weave for embellishments uh, on bangles. So, into the last one, going up the first one of the metallics. I'm just going to add the 8.0 now into the metallic, the 8.0 and the metallic. And then you just put this all, like, turn that up, and you're going around in six now, or seven actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven right there. And then you're back at the beginning, and then you start again with metallic, 8, metallic, into the 8-0 oh, and the next one, and metallic, 8-0, oh, into the previous metallic and the 8-0, oh, push it through into the next one, metallic, 8-0, oh, metallic, 8-0, oh, push it through, And now we're at the last one, and then you go up your metallic, picking up the last 8O, down the metallic, 8O, up the metallic, and then seven times. One, two, three, on the top, four, five, six, and number seven. Oh, that's basically it guys and you get yourself a new stitch on the control if you know how to do this and if you got the imagination you will figure out how this works well maybe not but um, I will come back and I will finish this one up and then I will come back to make a second video on uh, how I embellished it so this is it and I know it's a short one but uh, I hope you like learning a new stitch bye guys